for steel framed walls using lightweight cladding that requires vapour permeance, AirCell Permashield will be the most appropriate product to install. If vapour permeance is not required, then AirCell Insul Break can be installed. For installations with fibro cement claddings that are less than 10 mm in thickness, the counter batten method is the preferred method. Fix air cell loosely to the outside of the frame using wafer head screws, tape or otherwise, while leaving flexibility for it to be dished into the wall cavity between the studs. Using a sharp blade or scissors, cut air cell carefully around doors, windows and other openings so that it neatly abuts to the frames. Butt join rolls of air cell and tape with 48mm wide reinforced foil tape. Use a plastic squeegee or blade to apply appropriate pressure to the tape. Make sure the surfaces of the air cell are dry and free from dust, oil or grease before taping. Provide for an outer air space by adhering air cell spacer biscuits to the outer face of the air cell. Approximately three spacer biscuits per square metre will be required. Commence installing the cladding in accordance with the manufacturer's installation instructions. Fix the cladding by screwing through the air cell to the steel frame and apply even pressure to ensure that the upper board overlap is in full contact with the lower board. If gaps occur, close using brad nails. As the cladding is fixed to the frame, it will push against the air cell spacer biscuits, creating the desired 20mm air space for optimum thermal performance. Care must be taken that the screw gun torque and depth setting are appropriate to apply even pressure on the air cell without overstressing the cladding material, particularly when installing cladding less than 10 mm thick that does not fit flat to the frame. Air cell Permashield 65 or Insulbrake 65 should be used when this is the case.